the Legal's Trap. It comes after e4, e5, knight to f3, and pawn to d6, the Philidor defense. We play bishop to c4, they play bishop to g4, putting our knight to our queen. We play knight c3, they play knight c6, we play pawn to h3, and after they play bishop to a5, it might look like our knight is pinned to our queen, so we can't move our knight, but we literally do not care, we play knight takes on e5. If they take our queen, we actually have checkmate after bishop picks on f7, king goes to e7, and knight to d5, and all our pieces here just work in beautiful harmony to cut off all the squares from this king. Uh, if they take with their pawn, then we just take their bishop and we're up a pawn and much better. Uh, and last but not least, if they take with their knight, then we take their bishop. They take our bishop, and now we have a really nice move here, queen to b5 check, a fork of their king and their knight. They block their pawn, we take their knight, and now we're just up a pawn and much better.